Hello Terraria Enthusiasts, my name is James and welcome back to Chippy's Couch, classic intro today. You may be a little bit confused, you might have been thrown off by that. Why bless us with the classic intro? It's not actually the weekend. Well, if you've been following the series so far, you'll know that I was extremely excited about the PlayStation 5 coming out in the UK this morning, and I will admit I did feel like you would never see me again. And I thought, if I do fall into the temptation, if I dwell in the gamer cave, I want to give you something to remember me by. You know, I might go into a gaming coma today. Um, the, the options there on the table. But what I decided to do is to, to play some Terraria and not actually bother to set it up. So it's on the floor next to me. I'll prove it, all right? I'm just lifting it up. It's very heavy, all right? Let me give you a beat of the drum. That is it. That's the beat of the PlayStation 5. I just slapped the box, all right? I did that for you. Um, Yeah, I'm really excited to, to actually set it up and, and do all that good stuff. I did take the controller out. The controller is great. I really like it. Anyway, let me talk about Terraria for a little bit. Terraria, you ever heard of it? It's a game. That's the first thing people asked me this morning. They were like, Terraria on the PlayStation 5? It is on the PlayStation 5, but it's it's the PlayStation 4 version. Um, so, you know, it's that, right? I'll just say this. I can't wait for DR Studios uh, to have a PlayStation 5 version. That would be amazing. Um, so what are we doing today? Well, we are cracking on with the Crapulon. Um, yeah, we need to do a, a new attempt of this. So if you haven't been keeping up, uh, welcome. Hi. Have you just found the series? That's kind of cool. Um, but basically in episode, oh, I don't know which number it was. Was it episode eight? We tried Crabulon. Crabulon is a big crab that you fight in the mushroom biome. And we basically failed for a number of reasons. Number one, my summons weren't really doing the right stuff. But number two is I fought it in a very small arena for a very, uh, for a very like, I did it for a reason, basically. That's what I'm trying to get at. And the reason was, I feel like this little mushroom biome is adorable it's just adorable and i thought if we can fight it in here that would be great um turns out we can't so to start today's episode i'm gonna extend this arena out only a little bit people just said that i just need to you know get rid of these corners somebody even pointed out that the damage done is like 74 if you get contact damage on crabulon and then it's something minor like 18 from the little mushrooms so there's some big math moments, and I agree. Uh, so I'm just going to, yeah, I'm going to square this off. I'm going to give it a boxy design, unlike the PlayStation 5. <laughs> right, I'm just going to be real with you. It's going to be impossible for me not to talk about it today. It's all I want to talk about. And I will talk about it, because the little experience of getting it was actually everything I actually wanted, and I really did enjoy it. I do feel extremely blessed, though. Um, we were trying to get one for a family member this morning online, and it's a nightmare. It's like, it's just physically impossible, unfortunately. My friend did manage to get one, though, online. So, hey, big up to you. Um, but, yeah, I, I do feel really blessed to, to have gotten one. For those wondering, if you didn't see, a couple of months ago, I just walked down to the shop and pre-ordered one. That's, that's how I got it. I just went and did it in person because all the websites were terrible. Um, what am I talking about? Crabulon. Crabulon. Um, we're squaring off the arena... And I've also got to gather a few more mushrooms. I think I need... I'm trying to remember how many it is. I think it might be five more. Five more to, to get the 25. I've got some in the, the base back at home. Also, talking about the base, talking about magic storage, because this has been like a new saga in itself. Uh, I should get a shadow diamond today from Krabulon. And if I do get a shadow diamond, I'm going all in with, with magic storage. Finally. I mean, it needs to be done. Right, I've been trying to set up magic storage for four days now. I'm like um, like a lazy dad trying to build some flat pack furniture who just commits halfway. Tell you, tell you what, right? Talking about flat pack furniture. Oh my god. I'll never forget that <laughs> my, my brother built some flat pack furniture for me once. It was my first like adult bedroom. I don't know if any of you have ever had that before where you go through the transition of like the kiddie bedroom to the teenage bedroom to the adult bedroom. Anyway, I got a new wardrobe, and he offered to build it, and I thought, that's amazing. Thank you very much. Um, and he built it upside down, and it was like, Christ, how did you mess that up that bad? 
like the bottom pattern was on the top and then the doors were hung backwards. So like, how did you even bother? Like, how did you do that? It still bewilders me to this day, right? <laughs> I just don't get it. Like that is, that's a royal mess up, right? Let's just be real here. Um, this is almost done actually. I'm just gonna linger around, get a few more shrooms and we should be good. Yeah, I think, yeah, I think I've got enough mushrooms. I do. I think I've got enough. This is the only issue when you want to fight it in a small arena. It's like, you want mushrooms? Good luck, mate. Are any of these mushrooms? No. Okay, right. Let's go and, uh, let's go and find out. Um, I'm hoping that at some point, because I, I think today, if I smash out Krabulon and it's quick, because uh, it might easily be, if we smash out Krabulon and it's quick, we may as well just do the, the Eater of Worlds next for the fun of it. I was thinking for the Eater of Worlds, by the way, we'll probably end up using um, the crabs. Or maybe we use the Belladonna. See, the thing with the Belladonna is it has that burst effect that scatters. And Eater of Worlds, he's a chunker, right? He's a chunky boy. And, uh, God, I need to... <laughs> Do you remember, this is a while ago, but I had this habit where I kept saying the word boy after everything. I even started calling all of you the boys. And it was, it was too much, right? I gotta, I gotta learn to dial it back, right? He's just, he's a chonker though. There's no denying it. All right, let me grab these mushrooms. Let me make regen and iron skin. Yeah, I've got, I've got free bottled water and, uh, and we'll give it a go. I'm really pumped for this. I feel like this is going to go, um, extremely, extremely well. Um, but let me check though. Have we got the mushrooms? We have. All right. Okay. Um, I'll take those as well. We got any day bloom? Nice. All right. How are we doing today, Ben? Everybody's a uh, favorite NPC for some reason. He's doing fine. All right. He's still got his Joker green haircut, but that's all right. I also let. Can we just appreciate the fact that I've got the party girl? Right. She's just moved in like like nothing. This was such. This was such a nuisance in the master series to get her, and then now it doesn't matter at all. She's just like, hey, they're at home going by. Yeah, there is, but we don't need you. Like, in this version of the game, what do you use it for? A little bit of balloons here and there? Maybe we could slap down some balloons. Maybe we could, I don't know. Is it anybody's birthday today? We should let off a balloon for you. Somebody will be watching this today and it will be their birthday. Statistically, it's got to happen. Happy birthday. I hope it's going well. Lockdown birthdays suck, but you got to do what you got to do. Oh, I guess a good thing you can do is, if it's not your birthday today, bookmark the video and just come back, all right? Whatever day it's on. <laughs> if you want something, if you want something read out to you, there you go. All right, okay. Crabulon time. So we're gonna buff up and we are gonna go with two Krabby Daddies and one of these. All right, one of these, all right. Despacito Sprout, begin. So, uh, one thing people ask me a lot, and I do mean a lot, is am I right-clicking with the summon to home in? Yes. Every single time I'm playing, I'm right-clicking. Um, it's just that. Um, the summons move so dreadfully, you can't tell that I've put in the extra effort. Alright, so this fight has gone dreadfully. Um, it's gone really, really bad, hasn't it? Let's just, let's just hope and pray. Alright, <laughs> Yeah, that was tragic. All right, I want another fight against that. I think I, I kind of, um, I kind of underestimated these little dudes. I kind of just went into it thinking, oh, they do 18 damage. They don't do 18 damage or whatever. They do a lot of damage. All right, I'm going to linger around the mushroom biome and uh, to save you a bit of time because I do kind of want to, I do want to crank out two bosses if I can. I'll jump cut here and we'll get another Despacito Sprout. So uh, one thing I am doing, by the way, is, uh, is while I'm waiting for those mushrooms to grow back, I am just trying to find a, a separate biome, you know, just in case, because that, that will speed things up a bit, um, rather than just, like, lingering around. I don't think there's going to be anything interesting to show, but if I do get, like, some kind of mad find, like a new um, a new shrine or a laboratory, uh, I'll bring you back in. Um, oh, a house. But, <laughs> but it won't have anything good in it. You watch, all right? Let me, let me guess. Feeling a flare gun. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. What's this? A giant shell. Not bad. All right. Hey, there we go. All right. There's a, another magic mushroom biome. What are these actually called? Are they just called blue mushroom biomes? Is that what they are? Is it as simple as that? 
I don't know if the word magic mushroom should have really should have really cropped up then. It's because of Assassin's Creed yesterday. Oh, <laughs> I spoke about it yesterday, but obviously I played that level with the magic mushrooms, and now it's all I can think about. Oh God, <laughs> the YouTube little like Autobot's going to be reading it and going, um, we don't really know about today's episode. We'll 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 just we'll suppress that one. Nobody needs to see that. I do want to thank you, by the way, um, because every episode is being viewed about 50,000 times. That is insane. That's a really high amount for uh, for a 1.3.5 series post 1.4. Oh my god. I love you lot. You're just so supportive. You really are. Um, and why? I've got no idea. Because, <laughs> I don't know, <laughs> but I'm really grateful. Oh, there's another there's another part down here. Should we go grab some more shrooms? I don't know if shroom sounds better either. I have really developed a taste, though, for mushrooms as an adult. Like, I never used to really like... I never really minded mushrooms, but I never really fully, fully enjoyed them. But now I'm like, if I'm cooking the steak, I'm getting some little, like, button mushrooms. I'm frying them up as well. It's all good stuff. Um... So these, weirdly, these biomes are small as well. These little, this one, no. Yeah, is it better? I want to use my small one. I do. I want to use my small one. I'm going to go and, uh, <laughs> I'm going to go get my Despacito sprout and try again. So uh, one thing we can do, by the way, to make this a little bit easier for me is we can buy regen and iron skin uh, directly from the brewer. I... I go through phases with this, so don't don't quote me on it all the way through. But right now, I'm kind of feeling uh, not using the brewer that much for now, because I don't want to break balancing too much. I want to try and uh, and pace myself well. Should we just do three belladonnas? Should we fob off the crabs for now? Let's fob off the crabs and let's see if I can do a look better. Right, okay, so one thing I will say is those crabs are actually, sorry, those belladonnas are actually doing pretty decent, pretty decent damage. And Crabulon's staying on the bottom, which is kind of what I wanted. I'm trying not to move too much. I'm just trying to more focus. All right, that was bad. Whoa. Oh my god. I kind of, I'm not a very good dodger. There's, there's no denying it, but... When I get a good dodge, I feel very satisfied. <laughs> oh god. Oh god. Um. Oh, no, alright. I don't think we're winning this one. But it's been a fun attempt, I'll say that. Been a fun I think once this Oh. Oh god. Uh oh god. Alright, no. You're probably like, James, why did you just freeze then? Why didn't you move? I had something in mind. I just I just didn't do it right. <laughs> I thought I was being extra fly. All right. All right. So for this one, we're going to be using a crab and two belladonnas uh, just to see if that makes a difference. Maybe it will. Maybe it won't. I don't really know. But all I know is if it stays on the bottom, that crab is going to do the majority of the damage, which I think is going to be better. Oh, yeah, I need to, to hold this on my hand, don't I? <laughs> I keep forgetting. I think if it's... If you're holding anything that's not... I think if you're holding a different weapon, you lose summoning damage. But if you're not holding anything at all, and you're holding a tool, I don't think it really matters. Don't quote me on it, though. I don't fully know. If I wasn't so uh, cautious with, with my spending of mushrooms, I would actually make some better healing potions. But I don't really want to. I want to. I want to save them. All right. I'm doing bad again. Oh god. Oh god. All right. If I don't choke, we might actually do this. Come on. There's not too much health left. Oh god. Oh god. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna die. <laughs> oh god. Come on. Summons. Oh, we did it. We actually did it. All right. Amazing. I didn't dare look at my summons then. I wish I had an eye tracker. My eye was up here for some reason. Okay. Okay. There we go. So, we got two paper tubes. Thank you very much. I really, really like that. I saw a comment that said it's pretty cheesy. Uh, it definitely is. But 
for some of the if you've never seen calamity before some of the late game stuff is really grindy um so i'll take any kind of thing like that uh all right so what have we been i don't want to bin anything yet let's read out the law crabulon a crab and its mushroom uh, a love story it's interesting how creatures can adapt given certain circumstances favorite this item to gain the mushy buff while underground or in the mushroom biome however your movement speed will be decreased while in areas due to being covered in fungi all right it's kind of like the little uh the little zombies from um from the last of us god what are they called anyway don't worry about it infected i don't know uh fungal clump right this is a legendary item it's a legendary item the fungal clump is the bomb.com it's really really good i i'll use the fungal clump all the way to supreme calamitous if the situation came to it it's really good so we get the uh the plasma root this gives you 15 percent better damage on your rage uh we've also got the shroomerang all right see i've maybe had this before but it's got a new sprite or i might not have had it it looks good either way uh we've got the micro root it's a little uh rogue weapon there for you pretty cool uh, we're gonna sell both of those uh the fungal clump is is the bomb.com it just is it, it really 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 is i'll take rid of a, an extra summon just to have the legendary fungal clump all right so let's uh let's use a little bit of moolah let's use a little bit of moolah and let's try uh the eater of worlds let's give it a go it might not go well first time but that's all right you know i can i can deal with it just gonna sell some of these blocks i don't really don't particularly need them oh so yeah i wanted i did actually want to talk about collecting the playstation 5 because it was really everything i wanted so i slept terribly right that was to be expected every hour i would wake up and be like i think it's time and I'd like look over at my watch and be like it's two in the morning and i'm like it feels like i've been asleep for 10 hours ben get out of here um so that's that's how it felt but I woke up, it was around 7, so I drove there at 7, and I, and I got my little spot in queue, and I was like 7 from the start, which was kind of cool, and the queue got massive, it got really large, like I think there was like close to 100 people by the time I was leaving, but what was nice is that they had all the staff like outside interacting with everyone, like talking to them, talking about games, and you know, just like cracking jokes and stuff, it was really light hearted. Uh, people brought their dogs. It was very cute. Everyone wore masks. Everyone was really socially distant, which was, you know, obviously very important, you know, because this was like, yeah, <laughs> it was it was a privilege, let's just say that, to, to do this. So that was really cool. Um, yeah, it was just, just a good atmosphere all around. The tiredness has kicked in. <laughs> it's an instant wave, an instant wave of tiredness. All right, let's give this a go. I really should sort my inventory out, but hey, it is what it is. Uh, Ear of Worlds time. So we're using a we're using Belladonna's. However, I, I really do believe crabs would be better. Christ, that music is loud. Um, where is the thing? Oh, it's there. Oh my god. Sorry, I'm so in my own world. <laughs> oh my god. I just realised I actually spaced out as if I wasn't even doing a boss fight. I was just literally looking for crabs. I am not even joking. Where is it again? My eyes are blind today. My eyes are blind for everything but Spider-Man. I'm sorry. <laughs> God, I'm taking off my headphones. Christ, that music is so loud. All right, this is a shout out to the developer of um, the Calamity Extra Music mod. I know it's not made by the Calamity team. Christ, you've got to turn that music down. It does not sync up with any of the other music in Terraria. <laughs> Hopefully I remember to edit it. Actually, do you know what? Oh my god, wait, I don't want to lose this fight because I'm being a moron. Oh god, I've lost the fight because I'm a moron. Oh my god, it's so loud, it deafed me out. I feel like uh, I just lost five intelligence points from the music. The music is really good, it's just not very matched very well. But our editing levels are good. Alright, I'm so tired. Um, <laughs> we're doing round two. Don't worry about it. We're doing round two. All right. So, uh, there is actually a, uh, an Orby boy down here. So we don't have to do anything extreme to, uh, to start this fight. So let's slap down some dynamite. We're using Belladonna's for this one. And we begin. All right. 
What have we learned? We've learned to do better. We've learned to do better. Oh, forgot. We also learned to take off our headphones. Enjoy the music, everyone. At least for you lot, it's going to be balanced right. You know, you're not going to be like deafened by it. So it's all right. See, the thing is with the Belladonna is that the damage is definitely like, without a doubt, undoubtedly lower. But it might actually give us a more consistent fight. And we might, we might actually want that. We might want to break it up more uh, more controlled because that last one, we had so many different segments, it was insane. I've just got to be careful not to keep getting hit by the head of the fight. So we want to just keep moving around, doing our thing. That's the only problem with summons in this fight is you want to um, you want to avoid breaking it up the way we are, but it's just like it's actually kind of impossible. I kind of do want to get rid of the Belladonnas and go back to crabs. I keep leaning back to these crabs, and I really don't want to because I really don't like the AI. I think the AI is, like, actually really bad. But it's because whenever they hit something, they really do hit for really hard. So what we need right here is for me to get very lucky with uh, with heart drops. If I could get a, a bunch of hearts, that would be class, right? I don't think I'm gonna, though. Unless I can get out of this little hole, this little death pit. All right, so I did I did get a heal. That's decent at least. Crabs, are you, are you actually doing anything? It's so hard to tell. Oh my god, it's spitting out fireballs. Christ. This is not going very well. This is not I thought this would be like um chaos, sure, but very manageable chaos. I think uh I think I think we might be a little bit a little bit underprepared for that one. We're going to need a bigger arena. All right. Well, you know what? All in all, I think that was a fun episode. I think it was really good, truthfully. Um, it was definitely different. Uh, let me quickly go sleep, though, and we'll finish setting up uh, the crafting storage part. So uh, this is what we're trying to make. We're trying to make the storage crafting interface. Uh, I think I need to make some more little boxes, though. I don't think I, I have enough. Tell you what, I'll make three of those. Um, I'll make the crafting interface. All right, cool. And then what do I need to, to... I can't remember what I need to add to these to make the little um, chests and stuff. Let me just do that properly. All right. So, the storage units are silver, a chest, and a unit. Okay. Let's actually check if we have any silver left over. I don't think we do. No, we've only got nine. All right. The reason I bring this up, by the way, is because uh, we're running out of storage already. So, we do need to uh, to bump it up a little bit. Let me actually check, by the way, what is the first, what's the first little upgrade you can make to this? So that is Shroomite. Oh, all right. So that's Demon. So the first one we can do is, is straight after Eater of Worlds. All right. That's kind of, that's kind of cool. Uh, so just for people that have never seen this before, these are all of the things that I can make right now using all of the stuff inside of the, the chest. So I could make the Broken Snow Globe. Allows storage crafting interface to craft snow biome recipes. So do you stick that in here? Is that what you do? And it's like a, a special one. Just to show you real quick, by the way, you need to, uh, you do need to add to it. I'm sure a lot of you, by the way, have, have probably already, you know, checked out these mods. But I think with the introduction of T Mod Loader being officially supported, there's probably more people than not that have never tried this one. So because we've added in the workbench, you get all of this. Add in a furnace, you get even more. Add an anvil, more. Add a bottle, you start getting potions. And before you know it, you're a little, you're a little wiki gang whiz kid. <laughs> There's a lot there. All right. Well, for today, I'm rounding up the uh, the episode. Tomorrow, we're going to come back and do Eater of Worlds. As always, it wouldn't be the outro unless I mentioned the brand new merch. If you do want to go check it out, there is 13 days remaining on it. You can go to chippymerch.com or use the link at the top of the description. Shout out, as always, to our channel members rolling by on screen. Give the video a big fat toes up if you enjoyed it. Christ, this intro gets longer by the day. And subscribe if you're new. Okay, have a good one, guys. I'll see you tomorrow. Peace.